Hi, my name is Kay Ann, and I'm here with my daily pages. Um, as part of my, I started in a Hobonichi Tetra Cousin, but right now I'm using a Galen um, Tomoe River paper notebook. So what I'm working on here is the first week of August. So I'm making my August uh, title page, if you will, as well as uh, the first, well, through the 8th um, of August. I'm using some papers included in my Patreon digital pages, as well as a few other scraps here and there, to cut out these letters uh, to form the word August, and I'll be making 2021 that way as well. And I really like the look of cut paper letters, and I I do it fairly often, but I kind of, every time I do it, I think I should do this more often because it really gives a fun look to whatever you're doing, whether it be artwork or an art journal or, or daily pages like I'm doing here. This is also a great way to use up those little scraps and odds and ends of paper that you end up with and because you don't need a very big piece in order to make a letter. I just, to make my letters all about the same size, I just kind of cut, as you can see, as I do 2021 here, I'm cutting um, them from a piece that are all the same height. So automatically I get them sized right then. So that's the um, key to it. And otherwise it's really much easier than you would think. And I just freehand cut them. I don't draw out my letters first. I just go for it and if they're a little wonky that just adds to the appeal and here's the finished page i've added a image from one a past patreon uh, sheet as well as we move into the first i was uh, on the second day of a art show that day i have more detail about that in my travel journal but i just kind of wanted to uh, make a nod to what was happening that day so I cut this image. I really liked the uh, promotional image. It was in Minneapolis, and they have the Minneapolis kind of city scene here, art style, and I thought it was a really nice image. So I used that in there. I added an ice cream cone from my junk food sticker sheet, uh, which is available in my Etsy shop. And then I also added some little butterflies, which is from Sticky Club stickers. And because there's a butterfly that came into our booth and it landed on a piece of art and it actually like matched to the piece of art. It was, it was pretty fun to see. And I put how many pieces of art I sold over the weekend, made a note of that. And this, you know, made a few highlights. We met a daughter that lives in the Minneapolis area um, for supper that night before we headed back and so I have um, a little pizza down there to uh, record that. It's a, a pizza sticker. Um, so I just journaled a little bit about about the day and again it's briefer than my travel journal but yet it just kind of takes the place in my daily pages. One for the first, and it's in a little paint tube. That's one uh, from one of my past Patreon sheets, as is the Sunday um, written at the top. Um, the 19 is um, someone else's patron. It was either Pocket Journal of Pan or Loveland's Life. And then as I move on to the next page, I'm using some of the farm uh digital collage sheets from August Patreon sheets and including those we drove through a lot of farmland so that seemed appropriate to include on the page. Um, the All in Good Time is also from my August collage sheets and the as is the big number two the Monday is from a past one and I've made a little change in the Patreon, so if you, when you sign up for it, you are charged right away, which means you get all the benefits right away also. So like if you're in Sticker Club or the collage sheet level, then you get that month's uh, materials mailed to you, you know, that month, you don't, rather than having to wait for the next month.
I added a little couch on here because for me, driving days are just lazy days. I just kind of relax. We have a couch in Buster, our converted shuttle bus, and I just kind of relax in it. My husband does the driving, and it's just my chance to kind of rest and recuperate, and maybe plan for the next week. Sometimes I do a little bit of uh, travel journaling or uh, little bits of work, but it's mainly a lazy day for me, so that's why I put that on there. Um, for supper, we stopped at a favorite place um, that has chocolate meltaways that are amazing. It's like a gluten-free chocolate cake is what they call it, but um, I, yeah, they're really good. So the next page on the third, I have uh, Love's Lynn Life for my date dot, and um, she may have also done the Tuesday one. I'm not sure who that's by right now. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Uh, I'm using some stickers from Sticky Club up there because I roasted coffee that day, so I put some stickers um, that indicated that. I also put my new rainbow sticker which my sticker club one of the stickers my sticker club people got and i put so i put that on there and added some watercolor i'm taping in this um, package that i got from uh, an order from po pocket journal pam and the it was just such a cute little envelope she had stuck some stickers and washi all over and it was it was really cute so i decided to save that i could I could use it as a pocket to stick something in, but I didn't really have anything to stick in um, it this day, so it's just there. It's just there to be pretty. I uh, used some washi tape to cover up the clear uh, scotch tape that I used. I put my um, little image on the computer that uh, was also part of my Patreon collage sheets for August. And I added some coffee stickers that are from Block Party Stamp Carvey on Etsy. And they're just really cute. You get a whole set, I don't know, 12 or 16 or something little bitty coffee related stickers that are actually stamped um, from stamps that she made. So here's the finished page. I also added my Flower Girl on top, which is also from my August uh, Patreon sheet. On the 4th, I did a little bit of sketches as well as um, some stickers and and whatnot to record what happened on that day. The 5th and 6th, I did not really get recorded, me making these pages. Um, I, my camera quit and I didn't realize it. But here, the 5th is actually one of my favorite pages uh, spreads. And then there's a tip in in the center with a menu for a farm-to-table meal that we went to. On the 7th, I became a pa patron to Jenna Templeton, who just started a Patreon account. And the number 7 is from Illustrated Faith, from one of their digital pages. The Saturday is from one of my own Patreon sheets. So I'm just adding some watercolor here to make a little border. I just really like the way that that finishes off a page. Um, in a very easy and quick way. I add a lamp from my kind of back to school or on my desk um, collage sheet as well as a movie night and a popcorn sticker. I would like this time I've trimmed off. Sometimes the, the stickers have so much white around it, I prefer them a little more trimmed. So I will sometimes take the time to trim the piece up a little bit, and that's what I'm doing here. The I Choose Joy postcard that I've tipped in is from Pip Sticks and is, uh, has, is shiny, so that's why it looks funny in the, in the camera. So I'm getting all my stickers stuck down and situated and then I'll be ready to do some journaling. On this day, I mainly worked in the studio getting some uh, artwork made, uh, but that evening my husband and I watched a 
movie together. I did do some work while I was watching, but it was still a fun, relaxing evening. And here's the finished page um, for the 7th. And on the 8th, I um, am looking here through the, my digital collage bits uh, for this month that I've cut out. And I chose some washi and the little planner to put on the back of this tip in, as well as the little washi strip. I have a little YouTube sticker that I put down because uh, on this day I hit 500 subscribers, so that was real exciting. Thank you to all of you that have subscribed to make that possible. Um, this little washi strip is on the same, or on one of the collage sheets from August. And here is the page for the 8th, the finished page. And that wraps up the first week of August in my daily pages.